Recently, I got new hardware, which I was looking forward to for quite some time. I received a pair of AMD K62 Plus CPUs, a low-powered mobile processor, which is capable to run at 450 MHz and a core voltage of 2 volts. The CPU die was manufactured using the 0.18 micrometer process as compared to the 0.25 micrometer process used for the desktop versions of the K62 and the K63. Compared to the regular K62, the Plus version has a full speed 128KB on die level 2 cache. This graphics adapter is also a new addition, the Matrox Millennium 2. It is not a good 3D accelerator, but it is DirectX 5 compatible. The model you see here is equipped with 4MB onboard video memory. I also happen to have this memory expansion board, which will double the total video memory to 8MB. Matrox cards were known for their outstanding image quality. They also pioneered the multi-display GPU, which paved the way for multi-monitor desktop setups. With the absence of mainstream onboard sound, you had to have a sound card. Unless you were fine with the obnoxious PC speaker and its beeps and boops, you probably came across Creative Labs and their dominant Sound Blaster series. But they were not the only players in the field. One other market participant was ESS with their Audio Drive series. This is an ESS Audio Drive ES1688F from the mid 1990s. What is interesting about this model is that you can configure port, DMA, and IRQ via jumpers, which are located right next to the slot connector. And for good measure, the details on how to configure the card is printed on the back of the PCB. This is very nice as I do not have to look for a manual. Here is a description and a list of features for this great DOS compatible sound chip from the mid 1990s. This sound card may deserve its own video in the future. ESS claims Sound Blaster compatibility as well as an OPL3 compatible FM synthesizer. As a motherboard, I use the Asus P55T2P4 with 32 MB of memory. Here is a summary of the entire system. The Matrox card did not cooperate at bus speeds higher than 66 MHz. Therefore, the CPU is limited to 400 MHz. While I was checking the configuration of the ESS audio drive, a distant memory of another ESS sound card came to mind. That card was part of an AMD 486DX4100 back in the day. That system was running MS-DOS and Windows 3.11, and I do remember playing games in DOS. Games that were distributed on CDs. These days it is much easier to deal with disk images in ISO format. Without a physical CD drive, it would be great to emulate a CD drive to get the pure DOS experience. Luckily there is a tool that can accomplish just that. It is called SHSUCD. The download link is in the description. The only other thing you need is the disk image and a bit of typing to make it easier mounting the same image in the future. There is also a readme available that explains the functions and features of the tool, including some samples on how to mount an image in DOS. Here is a sample bot file that I use to mount an ISO image. The first line is executing a command that locates the disk image, in this case an ISO file. The forward slash f colon is a flag indicating to load the file. It is not a drive letter. The two dots are moving the directory one level up to the parent directory. The second line is loading the CD emulation driver and assigns it the drive letter E. When both commands are executed, the content of the ISO image should be accessible at drive E. There is still no drive letter E available. Let's execute the commands. And here you can see the output of both commands. First the ISO was loaded, second the drive was initialized and assigned the drive letter E. And drive E is now available with the content of the ISO image.
Ok, the setup program requires a mouse driver. You can find many mouse drivers online, but I use Qt Mouse version 2.0. I'm adding the mouse driver to the auto exit bot, so it loads automatically on each startup. Since I restarted the PC, I have to execute the commands to load the ISO image again. Thanks to the bot file, I can quickly load the ISO image again. Ok, let's try the setup once again. Ah, oh, the memories. The setup process wants us to configure the sound card. The auto detection doesn't seem to detect the ESS hardware. Maybe because I didn't install any drivers. Command & Conquer Red Alert is one of the games that does support the ESS audio drive natively. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the sound quality is low. Later I will change to the Sound Blaster Pro, which based on the documentation, it is compatible to. The sound quality will be better as well. Now enjoy this amazing setup process and I will see you in the next video. Sound hardware initialized. This program will install Red Alert to the following directory. If you wish to install to another directory or drive, please type it in below. Thank you. Installing. Please stand by. Please fill out the registration card while you are waiting. For last minute changes and notes, please view the README file. He who controls the past commands the future. He who commands the future. Conquers the past.